So TaskTXT recently had a big update pushed in January and there's nine new things. So I'm gonna walk through them all. TaskTXT is a plain text-based to-do system with little timers that help you stay focused on individual tasks. And you can kind of use it how you want because it's just plain text. So it's a very minimal yet very effective system for keeping you on task with your to-dos. TaskTXT is now powered by the CodeMirror editor. CodeMirror is an open source code editor for the web. This is a very capable, very powerful code editor that's used to power things like Replit, a very popular online coding environment. Now we have a lot of the power that comes along with this real code editor, like better performance, it can handle much bigger documents, and we get access to all these features around syntax highlighting, indentation, undo. One of the first things that this has enabled is feature number two, which is clickable URLs, one of the top requests. Now a URL anywhere in your task.txt documents becomes clickable. So you just hold down command or control on Windows and you can click on any of the URLs in your document. So now you can store various URLs that are related to your tasks or things you wanna come back to, super handy. Next is this new timer button design. So the timer buttons are a little more sleek now and the checkbox is always there. So you can check it much more easily. You don't have to hold option or do anything funny. You got the checkbox and the timer always persistently there. Number four is that you can now check off any line. So if you hover over in the margin here, you'll see a little circular checkbox that appears. And so if you wanna have subtasks under your main task, you just hover in the margin and you can check off anything. So you can decide what's a to do and what is just a note. Doesn't really make a difference. There's also now a beep when you go over the timer if you have a guess. So if you guess how long your task will take, when it goes over that time, it'll play a beep. Let's you know that you've gone past the time that you set for yourself. Another feature enabled by CodeMirror is indentation. So you can now indent in and it will maintain that indent level as you go to the next line. If you like to organize your notes with kind of sub items, you like to indent them, you can do that now. There's also a new per page undo. So undo in general works much better now. It works much more consistently because of CodeMirror. That means if you start a timer, for example, you can undo it because starting a timer just is changing the text. We also have a per page undo. So if you go to one page, make some changes, go to a different page, make some changes, you still are able to undo those changes individually between the pages. Previously, you'd wipe out your undo if you went to a different page. There's also a feature to bring the selected text into a new page. So if you select some text, then hold Option or Alt on Windows and click New Page, that will bring the selected text as the default text of the newly created page. And there's been some updates to the command mode. So command mode is when you press Escape, you enter command mode, and then there's a bunch of Vim-inspired keyboard shortcuts you can enter to control task.txt. There's a new command, which is O, kind of stands for Open, which is like open a new task below the current one and shift O will open a task above the current one. So if you wanna quickly create a task above the current one, hit escape and then shift O creates that. Also you can type DD to delete an entire task. And because of some of the other changes we made, D used to be for done, X is now for done to check off a task. There's a page linked in the description that will show you all of the keyboard shortcuts for command mode, for navigating, creating, deleting, all that stuff. So that's all the changes we have for today. Because we've now integrated CodeMirror, that's opening up the possibilities for additional features that we're building on top of it. And there's some other cool stuff in the works.